Tacking's a dynamic move that involves every single member of the crew. It's not simply pulling the helm down, shifting from side to side. A good tack, where the helmsman steers through the tack smoothly, the trimmers cut and sheet on at the perfect moment, and the weight is shifted in sync with the tack, is a beautiful thing to watch and minimises the speed loss and maximises the acceleration back to full speed. Pushing the rudder away from its natural line slows the boat, so in light winds the crew shift their weight to leeward to increase weather helm and instigate the turn. The helm allows the rudder to follow the boat, the rate of turn accelerating as the boat approaches head to wind. Once the boat is turning fast, the crew move back to windward. This rolls the boat upright and loads up the mainsail leech, flipping the transom onto a new tack. The trimmer cuts the jib just as it begins to back and trims on the new side to a well-eased position as it fills on the new side. Meanwhile, the main sheet man has eased the main sheet and pulled the traveller all the way to windward. Both sails are well twisted for maximum acceleration. As the boat falls onto the new tack, the helm slows the rate of turn, aiming to exit with the rudder central, two or three degrees below the normal close hauled course. Now everyone crosses the boat together, pulling the boat upright, squeezing on the sheets at the same time. This action accelerates the boat out of the tack like a squeezed apple pip. In Morwin, the movements are similar, but there's no need to roll the boat to leeward to instigate the tack. The boat will naturally turn faster. Main sheet man crosses first to sort out the traveller. And trimmer and helmsman cross just as the sails begin to fill. The helm can check out the accuracy of his steering by looking at the wake. If there's any evidence of a question mark, he's steering too much and slowing the turn too late. A good tack is a balletic manoeuvre. Try and remember these essentials as you practice your tacking. When you're tacking, it's just essential to look forwards. You need to see where the boat is coming through the wind and when it is going to be on the new close haul course. Preparing for a tack, I want to shake up the slack and the jib sheet and the, and the spare jib sheet. So when I come in to pull, up, pull the new jib sheet on, there isn't a lot of slack rope to take in. So when we're tacking, what you're saying is we can roll the boat a little bit, so we'll stay on, the, on this rail for quite a while as we go through the tack. Then all come up together, yeah? Yeah, so exactly like a dinghy, probably just a little bit slower. Uh, at the moment, there's enough wind that we don't need to go to leeward to start the, to start the turn. If yeah. it was lighter wind, we'd probably start by uh, moving down to leeward just to, just to initiate the turn. But here, I think we just stay where we are and uh, tap it just like a dinghy. So can we use, obviously the boat's reasonably heavy, like can we, can we use the momentum to keep going up wind into the tack or do we turn, is the arc quite, quite sharp? Uh, I think start slowly, accelerate through the turn, and then the idea is we come up, we fall onto the new tank, so we yeah. have no oversteer at all. So, so yeah, as, initially, as the new jib comes on, that's what drops the bow. Exactly. But uh, definitely at, in the start of the tack, probably slower than you would have dinghy. Let the rudder fall out of your hand. Try and avoid forcing the turn. Steer slowly into it, maybe speed up a little bit in the middle of the tack, and then slow down on the exit. But make sure the rudder follows the boat. We don't want to tack in big lumpy waves or in unsteady winds. So we want to look for a flattish piece of water or a time when there isn't a sudden gust or lull about to hit the boat. 